have the perfect idea, we're going to use Doll E2 to visualize perfectly photorealistic examples of these products. Then we should all pitch them to these toy investors I have lined up. But I would like to present to you the Stop It. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I looked at the charts, video, not gonna be around much longer. We need to diversify as a company. I have the perfect idea. We're gonna make products. Yeah. That's right, like we, toys. That toy, we already make toys? shirts and sell stuff, why, why toys? Well, because toys are the future. Everybody likes to play. Kids are always being born. I need your help coming up with some great ideas. Ideas the world's never seen before that don't already exist. You know, pitch it to some investors. Easy, we're gonna be trillionaires. Dude, we're world. getting toy investors? I got some ideas. But Nico, how do we create such imagery out of thin air, seemingly? Mm. Well, what we can do is we can leverage our abilities here of being on the cutting edge of visual production of art. And we'll combine that with our great ideas for products and we can bring the two together. So, we're going to use Doll E2. And this new AI is nuts. Basically, it combines one AI that judges if text matches an image and another AI that generates images allowing you to write complicated inputs and get an image that matches what you wrote. The results are almost photorealistic, so I want us to use Dolly 2 to visualize perfectly photorealistic examples of these products. Do you guys have any products that you've been like yearning for that just don't exist? I have yeah. something very bold. Our kids, teaching them to swim, it takes time. It's tough, it's challenging. But what if there was an element of fear and danger in the water? What if we put mechanical sharks in the water to teach our kids to swim faster? That's mechanical solid. sharks in a pool with children. Which you might want to put full size because that seems <laughs> to work. That actually works Why? very well. Oh, oh, that's. <laughs> What's that first one? What's that first one? Yeah, she's she's like. <laughs> that is the kid is upside down. <laughs> Say you want this girl to look more terrified, right? You go to erase just the face, and then you just edit the description. Terrified child face. And it will fill in the gaps. Exactly Ooh. the place. Oh. Oh. That's a trap. <laughs> it's tripping. Oh. 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 Alright, let's let's go hard, alright? A Jack Daniels pacifier. Oh. For children. For babies. No, it's it. not actual whiskey in there. It's just to like for the lifestyle, you know. <laughs> Jack Jingle. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe you could clear up the label more, but that's all. That's all we need. Nailed it. First try. Perfect. I think we should pause here. I think we should all go and make some awesome products. Then we should all pitch them to these toy investors I have lined up. One of them happens to be Jordan. Oh, yeah, surprise. <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm a big time. I'm big wow. time in the toy industry. I didn't know about this. Oh yeah, no surprise. Are you qualified? I'm more than qualified. All right. Are you qualified? That's my question. Well, we'll have to tape. find out. We're gonna make the toys that everyone else are too afraid to make. The toys that the kids demand. We're gonna be real, all right? We're gonna be real. Everybody else is fake. We're gonna yeah. be real. I'm gonna make the toys that I wanted as a kid. Yeah, I'm gonna take risks. Yeah, that's good. Let's all take some risks. Yeah. <laughs> Hey there. Excuse me. What did you get there? Oh, uh, well, I heard you guys are doing pitches, and I have a very spectacular pitch here today. Excuse me. What the? Matt, I understand that you think that you have the best pitches around town, but boy, do I have a product for you. Well, I can't wait to see what is in there. I'm kind of scared, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Look at these. Mm -hmm. What is this? Well, these are Vessies, my friend, and they're today's sponsor. A sustainably made shoe that you can wear everywhere. But Jordan, usually I have to hurt a lot of animals to make my shoes. You don't have to hurt any animals with these. These are sustainably made and 100% vegan. But the thing is, like my sneakers, I can't wear them in the water or when I'm, uh, you know, rolling around in the mud. These are 100% waterproof. Ah! And before you say it, snowproof. Snowproof as well, huh? Every single pair of Vessies are made with this material, Dymatex, that keeps your feet warm in the winter when you're cold, but cool in the summer when you're hot. Ah, I see. Hot. I can see the distinction there, yes. Now, if you think that you can't wear these everywhere, boy, am I here to tell you that you can wear them everywhere. I walk door to door selling Vessies every day, and look at me, I'm wearing them. Yes, I am. I wear them to the gym, I wear them around town, I, I wear them to dinner when I'm on a hot date. Do you believe it? I do go on hot dates. <laughs> can I take one right now? You can try it on. <laughs> okay, will do. <laughs> oh, look oh. at how easily it just pops onto my feet like a glove. 
And just how breathable are they, Matt? Just how breathable? I feel like I have second nostrils. All right, I'm gonna need those back now. Oh, no, but I really like them. They feel so good on my feet. Oh, don't you worry, son. If you just go to Bessie.com slash Corridor Crew, you'll get $25 off each pair. Bessie.com slash Corridor Crew? All right, I'm gonna be going door to door to other houses. I got more Bessies to sell. Okay. You do good, son. Keep those feet dry. Okay. Stay vegan. All righty, bye-bye now. Woo! That's because he's a vegan. On this episode of Shark Bank, five investors enter the waters with dreams of becoming the next big fish in the child toy industry. But which shark will bite? Jordan Allen is not new to the game. He exploded on the scene, quickly making his billions with inventions like the Baby Bolt, the first all-electric shock collar made for kids by kids. As a YouTuber, Mark ruthlessly clawed his way to the top of the game, destroying anyone who dared get in his way. But the fame and fortune couldn't drown out his life's true calling. Mark arrives today, hungry to leave his own mark on the industry. Our first inventor has ideas he believes will revolutionize the toy industry, and he's not just blowing smoke. Hi, my name is Nico. I'm an inventor of many great toys, and I can't wait to share these opportunities with you. So, you may not know this, but I actually had a big hit back in the 90s. Our cigarette accessory for Barbie, but then federal regulators stepped in and shut it down. It's time to update the image, right? It's time to bring it to the modern day. So I want to present to you the Barbie Vape Kit. Woo! Mm. Now we've been in talks with Juul. They have a package for kids that they've been working on. These vapes are also disposable. That way you have a guaranteed incoming money stream. I was even thinking about a subscription pack you can do so you're getting new flavors. I mean, they're not actual vapes, they're not actual vapes. Just be clear here. He not thought of everything. Vapes, just toy vapes. Uh, of course, of course. of course. Will the Barbie exhibit signs of nicotine withdrawal at the right times? You know, will Barbie start like attacking her friends to get their vapes out of their hands? Is that gonna be a thing? That we leave up to the child's imagination. I don't like that answer, personally. I don't like that answer. Okay, 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 okay. I, more, I got more, I got more. Kids love doing the jobs that their parents do, right? They love doing important jobs, like being a firefighter, being an astronaut, very important jobs. Well, you know what's also an important job? Flight crash scene investigator. <laughs> Kids also love finding things, puzzles, things like that. And what do you have to find in a crash scene? The black box. <laughs> so I want to present to you the Lego accident flight crash scene investigator kit. I like how bold you're being with this one. This is something that we've actually talked about. The market for oh, body yeah. recovery and right. Lego sets has untapped. Kids are already being scarred at a younger and younger age. They want to relive those experiences in their playroom. You know, if you guys want to buy in, I'm thinking like 10 bucks for the, you know, 100% steak. I'll get five. Yeah, 10's a bit steep. Congratulations. Thank you. Go back faster. Nico walks away from this deal with a whopping $5. Now the only crash scene that needs investigation is this terrible deal. Our next inventor has a bag full of rodents and a dream of a quieter tomorrow. Hello everyone. I'm a bit nervous today because I'm in the presence of such industry moguls as yourselves. Now, you're a new parent, fresh baby, right out the oven. And the baby's nice enough, but it comes with one major problem. That baby cries day in and day out, leaving you with no time to get that beauty sleep that we all need. Well, we have a solution for that today. The Hush Hush Baby <laughs> Suppressor. Whoa, we harness the technology of the silencer on a real gun and put it in your baby's mouth. This, continue. Now, this is great. if that baby just won't stop crying, we have a solution for that as well. It's an optional package, the Ratmobile. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Now, we dangle ethically murdered rats above your baby to remind it what could happen to it if it doesn't shut its little squeak hole. Do those rats come with the toy or do you have to source your own rats, no. string them up? No, the rats have been taxidermied for your convenience. They're not even alive. No, they're dead. No, they're very dead. As I said, ethically murdered. I just want to iterate that sometimes these rats do not deter your baby from screaming its lungs out at night when you're trying to sleep. So we do have one more option for you. The Trebu Hush. <laughs> <laughs> A more permanent solution. Well, walk us through this, please. This is yeah, fascinating to look at. This. Well, your baby is strapped to, as you can see, a trebuchet here. Very comfortable for the baby. It kind of looks like a toy. 
But if that baby starts really yapping, you know what happens. I like this idea. I think it's bold, I think it's brash, and I like your attitude. I'm asking for $3 million for 1% of the company. It's a bit rich for me. Do you have an established customer base? We will. You will? Yeah. I like your vision. I like your attitude. Thank you. It's edgy. It's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm willing to offer you $5,000 for 75% of your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I get some split it of the company? Sure. What are you, what are you offering? The idea. The idea? 25% for the idea. 25% for the idea? Yeah. Is there money? I think we should loop him in. So 25% that you own and 75% that you own yes. leaves me um, with $5,000 in your pocket right now. Well, you know what? That's $5,000 I didn't have. So thank you very much. I appreciate your business. <laughs> I'll take it. You. I'll thank take you. it. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so much, all of you. That, that's legally. I pass that handshake on. Like it's that. legal. That's good. Matt skillfully negotiated himself out of 100% of his own company. Matt states he has no plans for the $5,000 and is scared of the dim future he's created for himself. This next inventor is really weird. For real, like really weird. Hi, my name is Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm... Viet Cong Lego set. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. There's more. There's multiple sets. For the whole They all come together. The whole thing. And this is a play on words because they make holes in the ground. And the Lego set accurately reproduces that experience of. Next, we have the Funeral Home Dollhouse. New with hyper realistic toy coffins. <gasps> wow. That's pretty realistic. Mm. I would die in that. I would die for that. We use patented wax technology for these dollhouses it will not melt in your mouth. <laughs> That's good. That's great delivery. For the kids who want to finish the job, we actually have a new addition to our lineup of dollhouses. Now come bundled. <laughs> oh. Is this a working? It is working. Okay. Hmm. But at a scale. So you'll only be shocked and not. It's more like a tickle, we like to say. This is fantastic. However, I do have to say we did have another inventor in here that had a Lego partnered set. Now, I know. How are you going to compete with getting a Lego partnership when there already is one? I do not feel that these markets coincide in a synergistically effective way. I don't know what that meant. Yeah, it lost me too. That was great. Thank you for your time. What, you don't want us to buy? By what? P please, I'll, no, I'll oh, pay. he's not selling. I'll, I'll pay, 50,000. Pay what, for what? 100,000. I'll, I'll, for what? 150,000. I will give you one million now if you shake my hand. <sighs> can, can I think about it? No. No. Yes. yes. I will give you two million if you think about it. Think about it. I'll okay. tell you what, I'll just go home with you. Forget it. We don't need to go You can like come that. to my house. I'll come with you. <laughs> we'll get the paperwork figured out later. Don't even worry about it. Well, blank check. You seen that movie on Disney? Yeah. yeah. He had 90s? a slide from his room. Shake my hand, it's a done deal. What about my, uh, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Ooh. As I said, thank you for your time. Wow. 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 Bravo. Ren walks away from the table with a massive $2 million payout while giving up nothing. When asked how he felt about the remarkable deal, he responded with, good. Our next inventor wants to go viral, both socially and medically, with his collection of inventions. So I'm obviously an inventor, that's why I'm here, you know, thankful for it. First and foremost, children, they crave attention. They want to always feel like they're in the picture, you know? They're always vying for that undivided attention of yours. With my first invention, we can get that attention on them with millions of people. This camera is a TikTok baby monitor. The first partnership, which is already secured, by the way, all right? Now you see, this is not your average baby monitor. This is not just for your parents to watch over the safety of your child, but for the whole internet. You see, these <laughs> baby monitors are hooked up to the internet 24 seven with motion detection so that each time your baby dances in its crib or anywhere else this camera is facing, it automatically detects that and uploads it to your child's 
TikTok account. As you see, <laughs> this, this devil child here, by surrounding them with these cameras here, you can link them with Bluetooth as well so they all can function simultaneously, giving 360 degree coverage of your child. The baby looks so happy. Look yeah. at that smile. That's joy. You said that you were partnered with TikTok already. Is that TikTok in the American headquarters or is that TikTok in the Chinese headquarters? Uh, Chinese headquarters, yes. I am in, because I was hoping you were gonna say that. No one likes watching their people and their babies more than the Chinese government. In that case, you're gonna love my next product. Releasing, hopefully, just in time for uh, Halloween this year, uh, we have our very own Batsu playset. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. So this is in a, the same vein as those candy gummy creation kits that were popular in the 90s. You're trying to capitalize on a resurgence of that, but with soup. Yeah. And bats. <laughs> well, this is a non-edible prototype, but our hope is to expand into a kind of like easy bake oven. But as you can see, like once again, this is very, very popular with children. Here's two kids. <laughs> As you can see, that is uh, that is with one of our edible kits here, where they, they can actually sip the actual broth. But you said the first batches were inedible, so what are those children eating? <laughs> Beats me, I just sell the product. I, right. I was there for the shoot, you know. Concerning. Sli slight concern, or I guess red flag here, it appears as if the children are changing. If you just look at his, his eyes. Well, yeah, his, so yeah. What's wrong with his eyes? He, he just blinked at the wrong time. You know, sometimes you blink in the middle of a photograph. Once again, these are images taken in our lab. They're more for research purposes than advertisement purposes. That's fair. Are right you now? laughing at these poor kids? <laughs> no, no, I'm what excited by the idea. I see his passion. I love it. I love your vision. I'm asking for uh, $10,000 for half of everything you saw today. Obviously, if we, go, if we go into business together, it's important that we get to know each other a little bit. And so, why do you have a little bit of blood on your back? I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, show Mark. <gasps> Are you the original owner of this lab coat and this presentation? No. Is there a dead body of the inventor of the candy bat soup in the alley outside. Yeah. If there's one thing I value above everything else, it's drive. Hostile takeovers. Hostile takeovers. Impressive. Exactly. I think you got yourself a deal. All right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's understanding of social and medical virality nets him a cool $10,000 with our sharks today. Our last inventor is tired of flaky investors pulling his leg. He's hoping today is the day the Sharks will consent to partnering up. Judges, inventors, thank you for having me. It's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry. About six years ago, my cat died from natural causes, and he always wanted me to make a product that could be for kids <laughs> to teach them about the boundaries of physical touch. It's okay, you got this. Judges, in this day and age where the Me Too movement has taken hold and changed everyone's views on personal boundaries and workplace limitations, I don't think these limitations should have an age limit. We need to start our children early to learn what is not okay. You can twist it. You can poke it, but I would like to present to you the Stop It. <laughs> this is the first ever interactive children's toy that will teach your child what is okay and what is not. This product features several different customizable response faces that will teach your child that it is not okay to bop it, it is not okay to poke it, it is not okay to pull it. Is it possible to make this modular? Because as time goes on, different standards come and go to, so let's say, remove, bop it when the, the social norms have accepted that that's unacceptable and replace it with something like flick it. This, Mark, is why I would love you to become an investor on my project because I feel like with those ideas that you're bringing to the table and our injection molding, we can really make something beautiful. Yeah, it's like I'm not even here. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your ideas. I'm gonna use 3D printing instead of injection molding. Your patents won't hold up in court. They're all mine now. Welcome to the industry. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's invention was stolen by Mark. Ironically, he could do nothing to stop it. 
Uh, there's so many inventions here, things I never would have thought of, things that I have already thought of, things that leave me with questions like, where did that baby go after it gets trebucheted? The stop it is fantastic, design-wise, ethical application. I am worried about uh, how many times you can really play with that before it gets a bit old. But I think we're sleeping on the TikTok baby cam. Everyone knows you gotta get your social media handles claimed early. If you can automate that process, get them used to being in front of the camera and making content every day, bro, then the sooner you can get them started on their journey to the top. But you know what sticks with me the whole time? Barbie's first vape. I wasn't sold at first, I really wasn't. I had ethical concerns about it, but there's so much to build off of it. If you liked what you saw, there's a little button that lets us know that. You can click it. We'll keep doing this kind of stuff. And of course, subscribe and click that little bell icon because that'll let you know when we're uploading something new. Always an exciting thing. Hold, hold on, sharks. These tiny electric chairs could really do something big for our business. They want a lot of stake in the company. I'm offering you ownership, full ownership of your company, but I get the electric rat chair. Uh, you can have the electric chairs for the rats. I had stakes last night, so I'm okay on that part though. Sounds like a deal. Yeah.